Oh my god! Hang on! So you're so saying, saying it's, it's time, time again. again. A new episodic horror in the Fears to Fathom game series is out? Oh yeah, and this one, it's looking extra cozy though. I actually had to make a hot tea. I was feeling cold just staring at this introduction. Give me a moment. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Fears to Fathom. Woodbury gets away this time. I'm really excited for this episode, bro. First off, I want to say thank you to Real for handing me an early copy of this game so I can get this out a little earlier than what was expected. And bear in mind, guys, this is an early access build, so there may be bugs here and there. So what is Woodbury Getaway? Well, I'm glad you asked. What? I, I didn't ask that. You, you didn't ask? Well, I'm going to tell you when I was- Sydney Harper, 23-year-old working at a consulting firm, plans a weekend getaway to a Woodbury rental with her college friends. Little did she know what was about to unfold during their stay. Dude, there's really eating sounds and toilet sounds in the menus for this. Man, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm really looking forward to this one. I love the Fears to Fathom game series. So this one, Woodbury Getaway. This one looks so good, man. Get me in that new game, guys. It's a long, less edited video. Get your snacks. What are you doing? And that drink, though. And now let's go ahead and sit down and see what goes down at Woodbury Getaway. Fears to Fathom. Episode 5, The Woodbury Getaway. It sounds so cozy on the surface, and this went down on December the 8th, though. That explains the coziness feeling. There we go, we're working at our computer. Needed coffee to get done with the day. All right, we kick it off here, so most of the day's done. Oh, yeah, 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 I see the office space. It is very quiet. Wow, it's a pretty nice look down though in the city, you know? This would be so cozy to just look down on in the snow. So as much as I wanted to leave, I needed a cup of coffee. Playing it risky, ma'am. Do you want to sleep tonight? You know, that's the thing I always fear. The only time I drink coffee is first thing in the morning. Always a mistake because I'm running to that bathroom after. But if I have a coffee at like the afternoon, I already know I'm not sleeping till like midnight. That's just, uh, you know, a given. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Got the Epsos list as this must be where we're working. Ooh, nice little place. I can hear someone working back here, though. Hey, hey, bud, who are you? Where are you at? Hold up. They're working in the darkness. I couldn't leave just yet. I need to get a coffee. I'm trying to see... Who's the phantom typer back there? We can hear him working hard, right? Or are you hardly working, though, you know? What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. Just checking if you need anything. Can these clients ever make up their minds? I know. What keeps you here so late again? No, I'm just finalizing the report. I'll leave you to it, bro. He is, uh, yeah, he's done for the day. And I would be too if I was still working this late, though. Unless you're going at, like, 4 p.m. and it's been, like, three hours on a winter night. Then you know what I'm trying to say. Guys, you enjoy this video. You know exactly what to do. Let's, uh, get to business and a coffee. Oh, they got the coffee machine here, too. Need to prepare. Yep, yes, you do. So we got that. Uh, no, don't try putting the cup in there. Hold up, let's take one of these pods. That goes right in the top. And then we put this in here. I need to... Pff, my bad. I've, guys, can you tell I don't have one of these machines myself? I thought it just magically made water. Take a cup, fill it with some water. Top the machine up. Let's do it, man. We're gonna have that good old coffee. Gets through the last of the night. That's my guess. Ah, I'm feeling it. Oh, I'm already enjoying the vibe of this game, dude. Just fears to fathom. It just—they always hit, though. Like they've been getting better and better. You can tell this dude's creativity and uh, like the passion and just skills. It's just—it's just improving. Like, look, I gotta put lids on stuff now. Like, come on, gameplay though. Makes sense, right? Take a sip. Let's go. That sounds good, man. Nice clear liquid. We're for it to be all, you know, lumpy. Let me choose a restroom already, though. Let's the supply room. I mean, I don't want to take a dump in there, though. That would be kind of funny. Restroom. Is that it right here? This place is a bit dimly lit. Like, we gotta get some better lights. It'll probably help motivate people. Dude, <laughs> whoa, yo, we got waiting rooms out here. This is dope, though. Holy cow. Okay, um, yeah. Go in this one. Janitor's, uh, what, tried to do some of the work. Not looking too good. Any stores are good. Stall in this case. Take a seat. Sip that coffee at the same time, man. Oh, I actually gotta wait. Wow. This is the uh, true simulatory experience. So I guess how long it takes for us to take a pee? We really did need to go, huh? Hang on. Who's that? Is that the janitor? Like, let's not have a suspect, guys. It might be just normal. Yeah, I'm gonna sip to that. This might be my last gulp of coffee. Hello? Oh my god! Bro! What the heck? With the smile like that? Yeah, yeah, I wanna jump in your face next. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's okay. Nah, I can ask how are you. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet this hour. Are you working late again, huh? Yeah, well, uh, you young folks, sure do you put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Trusty old night, dude. Look at that thing. Holy crap, bro. Did he really have to jump around the corner like that? Honestly, like, I should have been- I gotta go get up here. <laughs> Can I flush, though? 
I can actually flush. I was gonna say, like, I don't wanna leave any remnants there. Okay, what? Well, let him pass. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Let's see you clean. All I see is you walking around. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. He's cleaning the car, not the floor. You know what? Leave him to it, man. Let me get it done. Okay, back to my desk. One heart attack later. Uh <laughs> Why her phone going? Oh, I see my little uh, receiver. Can I go this way? I want to explore this office, man. Take a look. Okay, she answered the phone first. I'm just curious looking around. It's like the back rooms, but if it had office space in, right? Isn't that what every place looks like, though? Let's go get it done. I heard a door open. Who's on the line, huh? Who is it at this late hour? Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. I've been trying to call your cell for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Huh. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting up lately. Okay, I guess it has been. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. Oh, no. <laughs> it didn't uh, even cut out on a client earlier. Or it did, actually. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do we like Mike? Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, it's uh, overtime. I mean, both finds the same Damn, thing. Damn, Arp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Lay it down, Mike. Who said that? Like, honestly, who's claiming that other than you? Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just oh. really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was going to do after. Okay, Mike, we see you got things. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. All right. Hey, I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. Be nice to catch up, oh, you know, sure, save sure. on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. All right, sounds good. Is it supposed to be like, I guess, a childhood Great. friend, maybe? Uh, or I or guess something? I'll let you get back to work then. Yeah, please, so oh, I can finish uh, up. Wait, one more thing. Hurry up. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Right. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. And we'll keep it affordable. It'll be just like the old college day. Oh my gosh. You always had a knack for finding the best spot. Uh-huh. Uh, let me book then, right, all right? Right, Of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. I will be once I'm done with work, right, Mike. Alright, talk to you later, Harp. Okay, bye. No bye. Okay, so let's, uh, finish up what we gotta do. So, company amount, we approve. Dang. Lots of, uh, high-value stuff. Okay, so, type invader. Hold up! Hey! What is going on? Whoa, hold up, hold up. A uh, new, hold up. No way, this is sick. What the freak, bro? Hey, you know we're playing this for a little bit. Okay, how's my typing skills? Design sounds. Holy crap, holy crap. Hunt. Okay, let's go. Accuracy 92. I. Yeah, I see you dead, bro. Yo, this is so cool. It's like type of the dead, right? <laughs> okay, let's see if this thing's gonna end, though, because you know we're doing it right now. Been typing all day, but I'm still ready. Okay, is that horse? What the freak is that? Oh! Oh! Skin, they took me out right there. Up we go. That's under the field down there. Holy crap. Gotta get some shots going. Okay, uh. Oh my god! Ooh. And we get Sydney. Let's see the shooting, all right? Oh my god. Boy, suggest. What's he suggesting, huh? It's like you gotta you gotta process which one's coming first, two in the list. So, uh, oh, this, uh, wait, wait, uh, okay, my dude there, this is insane, uh, oh my god, this is insane, I'm like, woo, this is hard, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're still alive though, right, please, Ran, okay, here we go, next forward, 10 up, what a weird quote, I've never heard that said before, come on, that's my car, right, that's my car, looking good, looking good, looking good, we're gonna get, we're gonna get jumped, Let's go! All right. Oh, man, that was fun. Okay, let's close this down, Sydney. We're supposed to be booking stuff, right? <laughs> that was sick, though. Okay, so we want to rent... Uh, when, oh, hold up. Rentacabin.com. I guess I know what I'm doing. Feeling unlucky? No, I'm feeling good after that game. Find your place to sit. Where are you going? Woodbury. Yep. Let's search this one. We ain't posting the cabin. We're trying to find that cabin. Here we got this one. $3.50 a night. It looks cozy, but... Ah, uh, too expensive. High reviews too, so that would be good. We got this one down here. Wi-Fi garden, security cameras. I wish we chose that one, but two stars? Maybe not. One, nine, nine. Man, so many good stuff, but gotta play it cheap, I guess. Private cabin in Woodbury. This one here. Uh, yeah, I think that's looking like the only one then. This one here. Wi-Fi garden, TV kitchen, fishing park. It's, it's okay. It's got some good stuff. Slightly under by one dollar. It looks cozy though. Private cabin in Woodbury. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Three, three guests, two bedroom, two beds, one point sh five shared bathroom. Yeah. How that even works? No idea. How, you don't even know my details though. Like, like, okay. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. 
I'm sorry if it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work, and my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. As we pretty much spoke, I guess, on the phone about, and this is two days later. Okay, oh, this is so cool. I'm hyped to see the cabin. I hope it's cozy. I'm feeling... What? <laughs> Afternoon, quite chilly today, eh? I've seen you around a bit, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney, it's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. Yeah, that's right. I thought so. I've seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? Are you seeing our professional <laughs> smiler, though? I work at a council consulting firm. Oh, I see. Anyways... I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. Yeah, you too. What's he playing? PSP? What is that, man? Hold up. Read some messages, so pull it to the garage now. I got my suitcase in the elevator. Oh, shoot. No way, dude. I'm not even paying attention. Yep, scoop that. Let him go ahead. Hold up. So I got some stuff popping through. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff popping through. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for the 10th and the 12th of December. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact. Hold up. Reading messages for anything during your stay. Looking forward to hosting you, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in is 3 p.m., right? That's correct. Key will be in the lockbox for the front door of the code 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open and have a safe trip. Then we got some messages. Just from Mike. Let's get some backstory here. Yo, Alp, how have you been? Mike, I'm literally so tired. I was just about to turn up for the night. WBY. What does that mean? What what been what be you? I oh, know much. Just keeping things afloat, my friend. How's work at the new firm? Pretty much the same as the old job, just coding my life away, but the pay is better. Anyway, I've been thinking about our chat from earlier today. Oh Mike, I don't know. Getting away sounds fun, but it'll be so much work to get packed and leave for the weekend. All I'm gonna do is think about all the work I should be getting done at the office. Listen to yourself, Hart. We're talking about a nice relaxing weekend getaway, and all you're focusing on is how to make relaxing. I haven't had a real break in ages, Mike. I'm not sure I even remember how to relax anymore. I work all day and when I get home, all I think about is work. Didn't get finished. It's just hard to unplug, you know. Why do I sound like this lady, bro? And that's exactly why you should come. Think of it this way, Sydney Harper. You're like a battery full of power and productivity. What happens when you run the battery too long? It loses charge. We've got to put it back on the charger, Harp. You'll get back to work after the weekend with more energy than ever. 20% more productivity, I bet. Come on. Who knows? Maybe you'll thank me later, Lenny Face. Plus, Nora's really excited about it. It really wouldn't be the same without you. Sorry I passed out last night. Damn it, fine. I'll check my HR and let you know. It'll take your time, Harp, but just know whatever you decide, we're here for you. Yo, Harp, your sound keeps going straight to voicemail. Everything okay? Coming back, I'm getting a bit worried. This was, uh, I guess, not that later. I just booked. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. No call, though. Oof. Okay, I'm heading that way, pulling into the garage now. So this is pretty much where we now are present day. So this must be Mike. All right, let's uh, go Green. Has it been a while? I have no idea, dude. Let's, uh... hey, there we go. Hug. Give him a hug. All right. No, 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 no spray mic still? That's still how you hug people? Well, why don't you hug me like you missed me? Long hug. Just to test and see if you smelled first. I mean, guys, what did I do though? All right, give him a long, okay. <clears throat> you look good. So do you, Mike. Thanks for picking me up. Won't have it any other way. It'd be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. All right, this bad boy's been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. All right, let's uh, get to it. That drops on the floor. So yeah, all packed up. We're ready to go straight from work. All right then, Harp. You ready to hit the road? Give him a nod, right? Where is... I should have asked where Nora is. Maybe we'll be picking her up because it's just us two right now. I mean, okay. You can see things going weird already with Mike, but let's uh, let's try not think about it right now. I did pack the handgun. Unless I forgot it. If so, I'll oh, shoot. 4.26 p.m. So it's a uh, decently early ride there. I guess in the winter months. This is what it looks like by 4 p.m. It's like it gets dark so quick then. It was starting to snow. Keeping the speed limit. Hey, drive, how you doing? Uh, don't need help here, but maybe soon. Ha, ah, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping at college. And now, here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get into real the real world. Yeah, it's like, that's what you think, bro, and then reality hits you. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge technology. Okay, I see what's going on right there. So they're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? We consult. I'll explain, right? That sounds like 
important work. Yeah, Mike is not impressed. And I don't care. He doesn't need to be. Bobblehead. Hit the... I can't hit the... I mean, I watched it jiggle. I'll take that. Now, oh, do you ever miss college? I only the cafeteria food. I mean, college food's good food when you don't got a cookie for yourself. I've got mixed feelings too, but I'm glad it brought us together. Okay, we got Rick messaging us. Us. I am, um, you know, I mean you, me, and Nora. Yeah. Okay, I think Mike's obviously got some feelings for us, and he's, uh, yeah, not doing the best of portraying. Kind of feeling creeped out. Where is Nora? Please come back, bro. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a uh, confirmation text. Weird, okay. I mean, bus has got to park somewhere, right? Did you see that? You see that school bus? That's all I saw. There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. I've seen someone turn, like, a, an aircraft, like, a, a, I guess, like, one that's not moving. They, like, deck it out, and you can they can stay in there and stuff. It's kind of cool. You can Google that and find out. Nearly 5 p.m., and I have received a confirmation text. I just wanted to check in to make sure everything's okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous. Okay, if you're not... Whoa! All right, glad that one moved. Can I get back to my phone? Oh, snap! I came out of nowhere! But you know... I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Uh, okay. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic spell. What the freak? What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around in the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. I mean, that is kind of cool. It, it can be mesmerizing, honestly, like driving in the rain. It's like, I feel that sometimes. It's kind of beautiful. Is he going to go like you? <laughs> Does out, but get, get away from me, Mike. It's dangerous if you're not from the air. Please know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way and should be there by 6 p.m. It's snowed, it's quiet, in, but thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and drive safe. And that's pretty much it, 5, 14 p.m. So we are well on track to uh, get in there, but the roads, as he said, are gonna be iced over. We are driving slow. This guy is, uh, he's being careful. So I do like that. I do wanna bring up like, where is Nora at some point? Ah, oh, check it out. We're we looking at, cop car? Wow, actual police though. What is that? Pizza! We like pizza. I guess we like pizza. My man likes pizza. Uh, okay, yes, I do like pizza. I guess we got no choice. Maybe, yeah, maybe turn him up. This dude's blind right now. You know how? I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizza is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. So we're living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I can eat a whole pizza myself. Same. All right then, huh? Operation Pizza Pit Stop. Is it go prepared to let's go, man? I'm down to most pizza. Let's take a little look around this place. All right, we see the cars. Is it safe to cross, though? Quick time. Yo, quick, quick, quick. All right. Mike was waiting for me. Yeah, and he can wait a bit longer. I'm a curious person. What can I say? Got a little shop there. And let the car pass. Hurry, hurry. Okay, roads look good. We've got the dairy, man. Dang, what is that? Like a milk specialist? What are you waiting for? Mike, don't talk to me and make me stand still in the middle of the road. You want me to get hit by a car or something? Okay, let's go. It's, uh, cold out here, though. We held the door that long. Customers are freezing in here, Mike. Come on in, huh? Yeah, thanks, bro. Let's go. This just in. Hold up. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. We're seeing it. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Let's take a look. Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Okay? <laughs> the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead yeah. of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Wow. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Yeah, Jerry, you can. You cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. Ooh. You little why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years, and I never TV. get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. The front, what's that mean? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. On, on news? You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Yo. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. Oh, my. I think it would be better field of work for you. You only Bro. got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. Ooh. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the ENG hey. How dare you? Live TV? I'm a certified news anchor. Certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? <laughs> you didn't do <laughs> How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh, oh yeah. live news is breaking news now. Punk. 
We'll be right back after this commercial break. Dude! Oh my god, they're gonna throw Are you exhausted and desperately need Always. a break? I can't. Is I, your I don't 9 to 5 out. stressing you out? Yes. Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. Oh, okay. We that's offer what we offer thousands did. of cabins readily. Uh, uh, yeah, available we found guys. I'm going, by the way. Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Oh, I hear you. This is a nice little place. We're just staring at people. I mean, I get it. I never do this in real life. Yeah, how's your day? How's the pizza? The pizza's great. Actually, I think Moses might have ruined all of the pizzas for us. It's the first time in the area. Where are you headed? Uh, we're on our way to a conference in the next town over with my buddy here. Now, he don't want to tell He's like, yeah, can I just eat my pizza, please? We just stop to eat whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has that cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you, local? Just passing through. Now we're headed to a rental in Woodbury. Woodbury, huh? We passed the sign for that, didn't we, Chris? Yeah, he's still he's just like, please, I just want to eat my dinner, man. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip. Be careful. Enjoy that. Who's this dude bouncing around? How you doing, my friend? I'm pretty hungry. Pizza smell awfully good. Awfully and good. You here for the pizza? No, just looking for a little help. Uh, good luck. Maybe I can help him? Hold up. Let me let me get to that point again. Hold up. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can, but go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. All right. Maybe he's cool. You know, maybe that's gonna be all right. Let's talk to this dude. Wait a folks. Looks like the cold's great. Everyone crave the pizza tonight. Fire folks know what you want to eat. Now, we'll get three slices each. I'll go with a pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And uh, for you, miss, he said the cheese, right? All right. What's your second slice? Uh, let's go on most special. And the third. Ooh, I'm feeling, uh... I thought I'd just open on it, so I was gonna say we got ghosts back here, margarita. And any drinks for you folk? That should cover us. Just a piece today, thanks. All right then, six hot slices coming right up. That'll be 20, yeah, we'll, we'll slap down some cash. You gotta have a drink with pizza, and it's like, it, it absorbs all the water from my body, it feels like. Okay, why are we staring at Mo like that, though? Why is he staring at me like that, though? Your order number's 27. Just grab a seat, and pull you up when your pizza's ready. Hey, where are we sitting? I'm feeling like this one's pretty good, right? Yep. So our butt cheeks down and we wait patiently. It's, it is quite a nice vibe. So let's see what this dude's doing. He's kind of peeking over the counter. I guess not ordering it. Man, they're going in on that pizza. It's like an alien movie set, man. The way they're eating that thing. Okay, so let's talk, actually. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. Return that. All right. I think that might be my pizza coming up. Oh, we got some uh, messages. We should check, to be honest, right? Uh, we're on the road, Nora. So this is uh, French. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of talking here. OMG, did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess. Baxter got pregnant and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can see it now. A birth announcement that says, The force is strong with this one. Mikey. Didn't they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you're the biggest nerd I know. Other than Baxter, he would totally get that. He would totally do that. This is so cute. So, oh, they got engaged. Oh, I'm happy for them. They made me believe in love again. Right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school. This dude's thinking cute. The goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married. And I'm here busting my ass revising designs for a company I don't even care about. Ugh. Seriously, I feel you go. May as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. Then we got, okay, oh. And then it's the city. My social life is officially dead. Syracuse just doesn't hit the same. I can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not the same kind as Baxter and Taylor, but a proposal. Proposal nonetheless. How about we find a runo house this winter? Somewhere in Vermont, maybe. We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'd be like our college days. We can watch movies and eat junk food. Whatever we want. Maybe get high. I'm sure one of my old contacts will come through. That sounds like a great idea. Our own cozy little getaway for a weekend. I love it. A getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Ah, uh, think about it, Harpy. A weekend away from the stress. No work, no deadlines. It'll be like a girl's trip, but with Mike. You say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll get back to you after I think it over. All right, just put some kisses. We hear that. No, we don't hear that. We see that. Come on. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, man, but there better be wine involved. All right, deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind of wake and bake Mikey has in mind, but it'll be so good. Uh, do you mind taking a lead in booking the house? You've always had a knack for finding a great place to stay. Me book the cabin, I suppose I could do that. We got a voicemail from Nora. Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Oh, man. Tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. All right. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. Okay. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I All hope right. I get to see you both soon. You will. That's no problem. We'll make sure to get some reasonable replies. So we did find that. We got you go cheap and cozy. I say cheap, happy. It makes me sound cheap. I know you're a millionaire at heart, Nora. The fancy's when we know. Stop. Right, we're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you're going, okay? Oh, you guys are going to hate me. Oh, no. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. 
The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. Uh, I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. I'm so sorry, guys. Dang. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. Make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Okay, so we uh, yeah, we got those messages come through. Where's our dang pizza at, bro? I I've been waiting. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? I just saw. So she'll be late. What a bummer. Well, I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, what the f- What, are we going fishing? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Order number 27. You folks are right here. I'm getting up. Okay, I want my pizza. Three fresh slices, right? Can I take those, sir? Uh, there you go. All right, take a seat back down. Mate, let's talk to him again. Hold up. How you doing, my friend? I'm pretty hungry. Pizza smell good. Are you gonna grab a slice? Okay, let's see if we can help now, because he's in after the pizza. Go get some pizza for- Okay, so, uh, yeah, we gotta eat this thing. Okay, he ain't waiting for no one, and I don't blame him, to be honest. Wait, how do I sit down? Uh, I got the pizza in my hand. Enjoy pizza, ma'am. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I can't sit down. I don't know- <laughs> I don't know what's- Oh no, I think the game might have broken. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Now I can sit down. It was talking- This dude cursed me. Dude, I'm just listening. <laughs> the people are eating the pizza, you hear it occasionally like, Ooh, like, my gosh, is it that good though? Okay, consuming. That's gonna be the cheese one. Hey, can see what you do. Is it- Might not pop by that. Oh damn, this pizza slaps though. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I yeah, know, right? Another buy it out. You can hear literally like the molecules in my mouth vibrating. Hey guys, do you leave your crust with the pizza or do you eat them? I eat the whole thing, man. Crust sometimes they go great with the dip. It's like garlic and herb from Domino's though. Dang, huh? You actually eat the crust? Kind of wasteful, aren't you? Don't you think? Yes, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? Shut the freak up, my. Don't judge me. You know what I do eat? I eat a whole kiwi. That's my thing, okay? I eat the skin of the kiwi too. If you haven't done it before, just try it. The kiwi skin is full of fiber. It's super nutritious. Like you're missing out literally the best bit of the kiwi. Oh, hey there, my friends. Hey, that's all y'all pulling the drive in that nice truck. And that's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Don't mind if I hitch a ride with you? Uh, where are you headed? Uh, where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass? Okay, all right. Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Why is a church mouse? Twice as nice. So, what do you say? Can I just give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Um, say yeah, sure, you can come with this. I'm not sure. Uh, I might say, I mean, yeah. Like, hold on a sec. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Isn't that what we're doing? Sure, feel free to jump in. I'm not sure we have extra space for another passenger. He's right, only two seats in the truck. I didn't think of that. Now, surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. That's my friend's cam, sorry. We'll say that. You gotta be crapping me late. No space? No, there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? I ain't scared of you. You ain't too kind, are you? How come people meet unkindness themselves? You best be careful. Yo, are you threatening us? Uh, no, 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 you got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired as all. Well. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man, I think I chose wrong. I don't know if we could have done that, though. Yeah, I want to eat the crust in shame. Mike just gave me that talk. You serious? How are you going to let strangers ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping you can put you in a bad situation. You seem harmless. You really never know these days. For all we know, there could have been another Ted Bundy, Harp. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, if someone asked me, I don't know if I would, like, given the situation. I, it's it's hard nowadays, it feels like you can't really risk anything, like, he's got a big backpack, what does he actually have in there? Okay, I'm gonna inhale my pizza, anyway, and we're gonna get back on the road. Great, we ate the whole thing, uh, I'd be slurping up that. Uh, press right mouse button to burp, pizza was perfect, let's go. Uh. You saying about that, Mikey? Uh. Well, oh my gosh, any farts <laughs> though? Yeah, uh, do you think I can, dude? You remember me? You obviously don't remember me from college, right? Yep, throw in the bit. We're good like that. There you go, got text come through. Oh, that was good. All right then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the words of the thing. Wait a second, we close. Uh, let's see, my GPS is right. It should be about another hour. Give me the keys. Pop, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm gonna drive so you can take a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're gonna give me, Harp. Be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's only one condition. Now, what is it? I get first choice of bedrooms, when or if we get there. Whatever, man. Give me those keys. Always gonna be something. Okay, we're out, man. Truck keys out. Dark without you, Mike. Get us going. That was good pizza, though, man. Why am I craving pizza, game? What have you done to me? You're making me hungry myself. 5.49 p.m. A little later, but not too late. So that's good. And we're well on the road. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB. Yeah, he ain't sleeping, your but I'm feeling in the room, man. It's bumpy. You the best tunes to warm your hearts on all right, he's off the gas. As we embrace the Check this. This cup is a good 
there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. Let's hear it, dude. There's a track that'll make you feel right at home. The game to see. Completely copyright free, guys. And, and Let's stay get it. Stay tuned. Right. Feeling that. Drive where the track's been playing way a little bit. There you go. Have I seen the same car go past like three times now? Yeah, hey, hey, officer, how you doing? Let's get it. Some good. Hey, oh my gosh, you make me want to drift to this music, though. This is fire. Speed limit 25? Nah, I don't think so. Hey, you guys ever done a winter break like this? I actually haven't, though. Hey, Mike, where are we going? Which way? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Woodbury. Where'd you go? Look, there you go. That looks like a giant in the distance. Hold on, what the freak is that? Yo, I'm driving. What is this, dude? Oh my. I wanted to see that. I don't care. Yo, that's crazy looking. Okay, let's back it up. Kind of saw. All right, here we go. I don't want to do any cuts in this, bro. The music is kind of fire. No, what is this? Little wooden bridge. These things scare me, though, man. Hey. Actual vibe, though. Keep going. Are you cutting in my video, though? Watch that car. Dude, who's on whose side? Shut the freak up, man. Don't worry about Mike. They're just trying to scare you about my driving. I'm good, right? It looks like you didn't want to give me the keys because you're scared about my driving, though, right? We should be getting pretty close. Do you remember the address? I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Okay, shoot. I haven't been looking at any house, dude. Keep looking around. It looks like we've got some workstations. Playground area. This is... Hey, it's family. It feels family-oriented. This is nice. How do I know? I see... No lay of the land, no different numbers on the door. Can I get out of the car and look? I think I might have to start doing that. Okay, stop a second. Can I get out of the car? Step I actually can't. We're stepping to my, I'm stepping out of my car. That's my lyrics. It's a very cold night. Is there, there's no door number on that, dude. Okay. Oh, hey, Mike. Maybe stay in the car whilst the engine's still running. You know, someone can jack this. Why are we getting out here, huh? I'm just, I'm taking, I don't know. Right, let's get it. These ain't copyright, dude. These are, so like, pretty sick, though. Okay. Uh, keep going this way. It feels industrial. It doesn't feel like we're going to exactly find a cabin out here. A little bit more down. Just keep your eyes peeled, guys. Shy if you see something, right? Sign saying. No, I don't know. No scent of something. No gas station. I think that's old school, man. Look at that thing. That's like radio. Jesus says three, shackled by whatever. Okay, I'm going to keep going, though. I'm just trying to stay at a cabin, to be honest. Oh, that looks good. What breed? Come on. Okay, we're here. Now we're just keeping our eyes peeled for the cabin, right? Might have to uh, start slowing up. Can I see some porches, though? That is... Is that a 241? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just see. That's a two... This is it! Here we are! Oh, let's go. That was a complete accident, too. My legs fell asleep. One second. Oh, wait, those junk come, man. I'm going to go forward a little bit, get off the road. I'm going to get the car crashed into. Okay, that's looking good. Yeah, I know. Wait, hold up. I'm out, Mikey. I'll join you in a second, sir. Where's my bag, though? What's the air for? Whoa! Quaint little house, the quiet neighbor. Dude, Mikey, mind what you do. Look, I'm up here now. Was that intended? Probably not. That was pretty sick, though, because I can't even do that legit. Me and you might make a good gymnastics team. So I'm guessing someone might be in. I'm not sure, though. So it was, was it 5621? What's the code? I don't remember. Let's take a guess, though. Like, if so, memory's pretty good. Was that for kind of creepy like that? You hear that music? Five, five, six, two, one. Okay, no. Nope. Where the freak was that? What? Five, one, seven, six. What is this number? Five, one, seven. Oh, this atmosphere is pretty rich, though. I'm feeling this. Okay, we'll take that. There's the house key space to get back out. Okay. No one's home. Hey, this is cozy, though. Look at this. Throwing it down. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Yeah, take your time, Mike. Just while I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? It should be enough space in the fridge. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, run right mouse button to open, though. I gotta put this down. The house was cozy and it was well furnished. Looks pretty nice. I like it. Look at that bag. That looks... Ooh, that is cozy as freak with the little fire out there, dude. I can't drop my bag. Yes, I can. I'm lying. So what do we have in the cooler? Yep, take the whole thing with me. It's got a... Kind of sinister undertones. We hear that with the music? Hmm. That is curious. So let's open this junk up. Hold up. My bad. Okay, my bad. I'm doing a bad job here. Okay, take the milk. One by one. Break by break. You know how they say it, guys? Am I just... Um, am I launching it in like that? Now we'll place it neatly on the milk. That's it. The best milk? Is that some bananas, though? We got those good old eggs. Uh, whatever the freak that is. Potatoes. Frozen yogurt. Yep. Going in the fridge. Don't want the freezer. And then we got some lettuce. All right. That's a, an odd... An odd uh, array of things to take, but we got it. Had to close the mini fridge before picking up. Yeah, we've done that though, right? Have we not done that? Oh, whew, sorry about that, Hart. You good? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. What, number two though? The groceries put away. Thanks for handling that, Hart. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Yeah, it's nice. Get away from the city for a bit too. For sure. 
Yeah, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start packing our bags. Appreciate that, Mike. Uh, I'll take this back as well. I'll just kind of throw this down here. So, I mean, so far, so good, right? The dangers aren't really coming from Mike. Like, take a little peek out. I can crouch down. Can, that music sting was perfectly timed. I, I've always loved the music like Rail used in his games. It always feels so good. It's like creepy. It's like eerie. It just makes you question like something's wrong. No, no way. Toilet. Here we go, down here. Uh, don't have to lock the door, I'm guessing. We just trust he's not gonna come through. The smell alone told me pizza really had done a number on mine. Too much information, but you know what? It is her story and she can tell it however she wants. And gotta go. Did this before, we can text Rick. Okay, let's uh, take a look. Hi, we've checked in. You've been watching his phone? Ain't replying quick enough, that's all I'm saying. Guess we just let him know. I mean, that could be good. Like, he, he wanted to know, but also could be kind of weird, right? Now that he knows we're here, he's like, oh, plan one. Part one of my plan is underway. Okay, I'm gonna close that. Let's not do what Mike did, right? Let's actually flush the chain. There you go, keep it clean. Is that, dude, you got a toilet scrubber anywhere? Hate to admit it, but I didn't wash my hands after him. You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. You wanna be on a high five me though? So, ready to check out the place? Yeah, let's see what this place has to offer. After you. So first off, we got a living room with the fire already going. That Have is a cozy. dog? No. Well, you're in luck. It's living room. Bigger than my auto apartment. Insurance I'm going to turn that off in case Mike keeps talking to me. We've got crosswords. Uh, how old am I? The heck was that? That was strange. What is this back area? It's like a... Okay, a Ouija... Wait, what? A Luigi board? Wait, hold up. Wow. <laughs> okay, we might mess with that, guys. Can I get past Mike? So we see that there. Yeah, all good. Nice paintings. It's 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 themed. Should we open the basement and talk to Mike? See what he says about the basement, though. Hey, Mike, check this out, bro. You want to go down first? Honestly, the big scary guy, right? Just to protect me. I'll go down then. So he he works down here like that. Dang, I would not be wanting to work down here. Do we have a light? It's very dark. That's from that sealed. A totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college dorm. Are you sure? I don't smell a Long Beach could Always. Have all right, Mike. We hear that then. Why is he staring at me like that? Wait, what's going on? Hold up. Okay, we're back. Let's uh, let's check on the upper floor here. Let's see. What does this place have going? It's pretty spacious, though. Washroom, maybe. Maybe just more of a sort of uh, bits and bobs room, you know? They're not really having much of a flow. No family portraits on the walls. I guess they- Oh, my God! What the freak? Bro, you made me break my mouse, Matt Nearly. Hold up. Oh, hey! You're here. You scared us. Oopsie daisy. I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. Oh, he didn't like that. He's like, oh, come on, man. We didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. Just answering his question. We didn't ask a question, Sydney. We made it. He made a statement and he, Never mind. Dude, come on right now. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to go to stay with you two. Didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remembered that the TV's been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folk left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Now, there'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. All right, sure. After that freaking jump scare, though, like, oh, this is middle-aged man with nervous energy. All right. Oh, this is nice, though. Oh, <laughs> this is where I take a sh <laughs> Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, the sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. All right, all right. You can look at where you're going, not at me. That the freak is too old. Uh, toilet paper and lotion, though. Look up. This room has a nice view. Hey, you think it's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the dick. Uh, follow me now, please. All right, yeah, cozy little room. I don't know who's taking this. He said he gets dibs, though, if uh, we let him drive, which I guess technically we did. This one here. This looks like a washroom of some kind, I'm guessing. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. Got a point, though. It's holy smokes. It's incredible. I can smell your bottom lip, Mike. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Ah, right, folks, let's head back in before I catch a cold here again. Again, second one. Yeah, we can see. Where's the? Where can we get fishing from here? I don't know if that's a lake, though. I'm not really sure. Close that. Let's uh, see what's next on the agenda. That room. I think that might be ambience. I'm gonna leave the TV first on. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Oh, I might not need it. Now, trust me. So it's best to know where your last light is. All right, folks, let me head downstairs now. Okay, you're gonna show us that dang basement, though. I mean. Other than the, uh, you know, slightly uh, 
jumpy start. Oh, it's going okay. The, 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 the teddy is cool. I'm worried. Is it something in the eyes, though? You know, I'm always thinking like that. Yeah, we stocked up your fridge. Alrighty, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. Look, it's out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Okay, is that going to be in the basement? That's my guess. Um, can't open that. Let's save the tour outside for later. He doesn't want to catch that cold again, he says. It is dark as freak down here, though, sir. He's going to hit that light, right? Yep. Okay. It's an interesting little workstation. Like, he obviously does something here, some tinkering. Uh, the water heater. Uh, nothing to worry about down here. Just a wire here and some old storage stuff. Whenever stuff's working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire it up and you'll be back in business. Okay, so down here, the pilot light. Got it. Look around this side. I probably shouldn't be doing this. Not until at least he's gone, though. Uh, I think that might be it. We got, what is that, man? No access. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? No, nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Runners don't need the space. Is it really you to keep upstairs? Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Okay, no access. To you know, we're going to get through that. I couldn't open this door yet. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I should keep it to myself. The fellow I bought this house from, well, he told me his mother died down here. Some guests are reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. We found a freaking Ouija board, though. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on, I'm just joking. Is he, though? At this point, my creep me was quietly pinging it around. a 6 out of 10. Oh, you got an official scale for this? Okay, that's not good. Alrighty, folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. I'm gonna find that dang cat. Thanks for showing us around. Good luck finding the cat, man. I hope it's not too cold. Oh, by the way... What was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, oh, Sydney! That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Wait. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Dude, I'm. Um he just walks away. Oh my gosh, I don't like this already. What the freak? Okay, he's watching TV. I thought <laughs> someone's screaming down in the no access. Hold up. We'll leave him to his TV. Yeah, that is very weird. Doesn't know the name of the booking, right? Like, hmm. Is he really the host? Yo, I'm actually starting to get worried. What about if in that no access room? What about if the actual, uh, the, the dude who owns this place, he's dead in there. We're going to find a dead corpse, right? That would be weird. Okay, let's uh, get that waterfall action. Is that is that a good thing I can say, though? Dang, that, that's loud, though. What about if that's what's happening here, though? I don't like him. I don't. With the nervous chuckle and the creep me, it's down to ping a 6 out of 10. It's definitely out of the weird zone or the normal zone. I might scream, uh, you know, something weird. I do want to get in that no access room just to check what's going on. Can we sniff under the door frame? Does it smell funky? You know, that's what I'm wondering right now. Okay, I'm, I'm ready to square up and I don't know why. I feel like that dude's gonna just jump out at me for no reason. And check the view up here, crouch it down. It's a little windy. This is cozy as freak though, dude. I am feeling that. Okay, if Mike jumps gets me, I'm actually gonna throw a fist in his face though, dude. Because I'm done with this. Don't want to go on the balcony. I'm gonna turn this off. Because that's noisy. Set. Can I draw this back? I can't, okay. I mean, as it stands, it is, uh, I think just does some Mike chilling in this house and that's it. Can I, I can't hear the TV? Oh, all right, that makes sense. Fishing rod. Yeah, um, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned it, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Oh, hey, let's do it though. Heck yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Yes, let's go. Hey, okay, this is actually dope. I hope my hair's dry because I am gonna get so sick day number one or two on the trip. You know, depending is this day zero, is this day one? Is that door keep the warmth in? Someone's yeah, they're using the trail. You see that? Oh, two seats for me and you, my Kay. No, Nora. That's kind of weird, though, you know. Come on, Harp. It's this way. Hey, my bad, sir. Feels good now with the music. It is like old times. You want to grab the other fish and run up? Yeah, just give me a sec. Let's see up here. We got uh, bait and uh, parent knowledge. Okay, so frozen prawns. We can catch all kinds of stuff here. Seamouth bass, yellow perch. What are we feeling, right? I, I actually have no idea. Where's the rod, sir? Sorry, I, I was not paying attention. We got the rod. So the bait, we can... Uh, it's like, oh, snap! I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. Uh, we need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Yes! First things first, we need to know the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, Harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. All right, I, I think in real life you could catch it with 
with sweet corn though, so common cup, yep, you can catch it with a cheese delight. They they literally like pretty much everything. All right, where's the sweet corn at, dude? I'm not, I don't know where I'm seeing the sweet corn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, do we not have the sweet corn though? There's the cheese delight. That's gonna work. We got maggot bay, golden lore. Okay, let's go, man, with the sweet corn. Let's go. Rush brown mouse button. Put on the hook. I think did I do it. I don't know. I have no. I think. Uh, I have no idea. I think I got sweet corn swinging around now. This music's making me feel kind of something warm, right? Cold place like this. Oh, no way. This is... Dang. It just flows through like this? This is literally on your doorstep. Yo, this would be so cool. This would be fire, though. Okay. Oh, my... Okay, you said that. I hope those caps are buying today. You mean tonight? Dark, though. We're taking a seat. Yep, let's go. Left mouse. Should we do it, though? Let's give it a go, right? Cast that junk out there. Uh... We're gonna in the water. Keep your eyes on it, guys. When you see it start bobbing underneath, that's when you know to pull it back in. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 bad, 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 bad. Oh, oh, this is cool. Look at a little minigame here. Yo. I dig this. I dig this. Okay. Sliding around. Oh, it's hard when it's in the middle. Like, you gotta kind of wiggle it like that. All right. Bluegill. Uh, no, throw it back. We're not gonna use it. Let it run free, man. So we need more bait. Back out. We, I think I'm casting over there, man. I'm trying to catch another person living over there or something. Oh, my. It's still plopped. Fascinating, huh, Mike? You see that? Is Mike getting nothing? What's happening, dude? Bro, you're just fishing in the wrong spots all the time. Okay, oh, I'm getting this down. Look at that. Oh, yeah, buddy. Common cut. Hey, buddy, you're gonna make a nice meal. They say whenever there's one cut, there's always more. Let's test that theory then, huh? They love their sweet corn. Guys, what can I say, man? Just like in real life. I haven't been fishing in decades, though. Like, literally. I was, I felt bad for it. Like, you know, I, I don't really want to do this stuff anymore. Let's go, let's go. It is a video game, so, you know, I need my cat, though. How else are we gonna eat? Apparently, we need to live like this, right? There you go. Come on, little fishy. Come on, little fishy. You know you want to be reeled in. Another blue get. Is it this? Get the. Come on, man. You're just getting your free sweet corn. It's a free three course meal, man. Are we gonna get another one of these? Let's see, we got another one. Oh, yes, sir. There's another one. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. Are you doing anything, Mike? What the freak are you doing, man? I'm gonna cast this same spot. See if there's a little school of fish around there. Is that right? School of fish out, Mike? You like my term? See? I, I might be wrong. I don't know. Another hit. Straight away. Oh, my God. Well, do I have to move? This is a big one. Potentially. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got. It's the, get the freak out. What's he got? He's just, he reeled in a little tiny dude. Look at that. He got something. Okay, come on then. This, oh, this is a challenge. I think this may be a carp. Can we get a rare fish? So that's what I'm wondering. I really want a, a really rare one. That'd be sick though. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Bro, you, oh man, you're trying to break free. Today, sir, you're only breaking free of my belly after we're done, man. Toilet trip. Oh yeah, keep that one. All right, hop. Let's hope we got three carp. Wanna head back, throw it in the oven for dinner? Uh, you know, I wanna try and fish a little bit. Sydney Harper likes fishing, who knew? Okay, let me know when you wanna head back. It's getting pretty cold here. Sure, you get the freak out of here then, Mike. 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 Thanks, voice. Love that, thanks. I'm gonna try and catch like two or three more just to see if there's maybe like a special fish or something. Like, I guess we can judge based on the, uh, like the width of the thing. So this one, oh, you already know it's a bluegill. Oh, oh wow. How about that? We got enough for a meal. I'll throw it back. I don't I don't feel like I need to take any more. Nothing but blue gills and common carp. Okay, I'm ready to head back in. Let's do it. I am good. All right, let's stand back up ourselves. Oh, some good fishing, man. Good little fishies. They're going to taste so good. Oh, man, I can't wait to put those things in my belly, though. Nagget out. You pluck a string, it's just going to crack like ice, though. There's the house. From the outside, it does look good, though. That looks cozy as freak, right? But, again, that basement is making me a little bit conscious like what is going on down there i feel like maybe i should be a little bit concerned but who knows i'm gonna put this back i'll be with you in a sec mike can i though wait i'm casting on the ground hold up hold up okay nice i get am i bringing this in i don't know how to put the fish and stuff down do i press g to throw oh you know what let's not that will stink up this place throw, throw, throw. when is nora gonna get here i'm i'm kind of worried now well i'm cleaning the fish do you mind prepping the marinade uh, i'm not sure how to do it just take a bowl, throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. All right, on it. Uh, what, what am I doing? Hold up. What? what ah. Piss? Hold up. What? Take a bowl. Hang on. Let's just slow it down a second. My brain's a little bit slow. I don't want to make the worst thing in the world right now. Uh, oh, 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 why is this sinister, guys? Yeah, there's the black pepper. We need the salt. Okay, we got those two. We're looking for that paprika. Italian seasoning, right? He did say that. Put that in there. Ginger garlic paste. Another one. Okay, we need... Let's take a look. There's... What is that? There's your paprika, yep. Okay, we need olive oil and the yogurt, which we know the uh, the yogurt's definitely in the fridge, though. Whereabouts in here is it? Bend those knees. See that? Uh, where the... Wait, yogurt? Yogurt? Where the freak you are? Is that like a... Uh, is this it here? Yeah, frozen yogurt. So that goes in there. Keep that closed. Keep it nice and chilled. And the olive oil, you'd expect it to be on the outside somewhere. Unless uh, they do things a bit different right here. Now, there it is. Look, extra virgin olive oil. Here you go. We mix that junk up. And then we... Uh, 
the frog? I thought you just disappeared. I was gonna say, Magic Mike? What the frick? Do you mind throwing the fish and marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? Yeah, I'm on it, dude. I already saw it. Is that not the casserole, though? What are we talking about? Is this it here? Place that down. That's got some viscosity, man. That is not going anywhere. So, uh, take the fish. The casserole dish. Where, where, where the freak's the casserole dish, dude? Oh, my bad. My bad. Okay, so we want two carp. Even though we got three, though. That's one. It says two, though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Two carps. Take another one. I can't. Okay, there you go. Uh, then we want to take, let's take a look at the marinade, which is, uh, got a bit of flawed, you know, seasoning too, you know. <laughs> There's some veggies, which he's on. Now, could you add the veg- I got you, sir. Look at that, teamwork. I read it needs to go in for 30 minutes, 400, so 30, 400. Like this, open this up. Just remember that number, guys, 30, 400. Is it set? I don't know, I- I, I guess we did it, hold up. Those carp are gonna taste amazing. What we wait for it to cook? How about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. And which one? I just grab whatever catches you're right. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to- Yeah, we already see that one, right? We went there before we found the uh, the Mario and the Luigi board, which I'm scared about, right? Gonna make me hit the- Mamma mia! That, that actually- Why did that sound good through my headphones? It probably sounded trash in real life. Okay, and here- I'm- I'm feeling it. I wanna do it, man. I just wanna see what he says, though. I wanna see if he gets freaked out by the idea of playing this one. Hold up, so talk to him. Snap! Is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of those boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullcrap. Hey. Remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? Why don't we try this down there? I don't think it's a great idea, but I also don't want to hear him with the silence, though. All right, let's go. Listen, guys. Gotta do some fun things whilst you're on your brakes, right? Yeah, it's kind of scary. Yeah, things might go bad. Yeah, the cop's gonna taste delicious. You scared already? I'm just- I was commenting on the cop, Mike! Yo, chef! Come on, get the freak down here. Okay, so, why are we doing it? I don't- I still don't- I like that. Watch out for spiders down here. I think that's gonna be the least of our worries by the end of this one, Mike. Can we get contact? Oh, in the corner, of course. Nice and secluded. <sighs> oh, he brings a whole tip. Oh, my- Mike is strong! Okay, I see that! Where are we doing it then, sir? You don't wanna do it in that dusty old corner? A little bit of light, huh? Alright. You know what will make this even spookier? What now? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Mike, man! I mean, it's fun! It is supposed to be fun. Oh, I don't like it, sir. I'm actually nervous about this, though. Anyways, now this works, Harper. I mean, can you put your hands and ask a question and the, like, the planchet or whatever it's called moves, right? I'll say no, though, so you guys can understand. So here's how it works. First, we place our fingers lightly on the planchet. We have to ask questions in the spirits. If there are any, we'll move the planchet to spell out the answers. Or at least that's what Molly told me. Let's do it, guys. One more thing, Harp. Never take your fingers off the planchette until we say goodbye. Otherwise, we might tick off some spirits, she said. Got it. So keep your fingers firmly planted if we're going to do this thing. All right, then you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Do you want us to leave? Let's ask the first one, right? Put our fingers on it, too. What's he smiling right there? D-E-E-Z-N-U-T-S? Oh, come on, man. I don't know what he's saying. It must be saying something. I mean, I guess I've... Oh, shoot, that's us. Oh, 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 guys are saying yes. Whispers, no way, are you moving it? That she was me, that wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. What's he gonna say? How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. What's it, where's it going with that? Are we gonna spell out, oh, oh, what does he wanna say? I know what he's saying. I, I guess like, I, okay, my hands are off. Did you live in this house? What's your name? Are you friendly? Let's check that out. Okay, I'm actually not doing this now. Look at this. So if Mike says he's not doing it either, this is where things might get weird. Whispers. My turn. Okay, no fibbing this time. We don't want to. We don't want to uh, break this. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. It's just I don't know if it's forming sentences. Uh. Eh? Whoa. <gasps> Holy crap! What the hell, Mike? Wait for me. Did we? <gasps> oh my gosh! I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. Oh, yo, I don't like what's back there. I think the host is tied up. Yo, you good? Some freaky crap going on down there, Harp. That was weird. Yeah, the weird part is that you ditched me. The hell, Harp? I figured you would move your butt too. Could have been nice if you checked. You ever heard of a fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. I'm glad this fish is cooked. Is Nora still really not here? We shouldn't be messing around with this stuff. And then she gets here, she's gonna be like, oh my God, I am not staying here. You've summoned a demon. Did he use- He used no mittens! Holy crap, this dude is strong as free. 
I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna forgive him for that one. Yes, it was a bit scary. Uh, close that. Keep that fresh. Okay, keep the orange one all good. That does look delicious though, man. We're going in with the hands too. We're going all old school. That's one way to enjoy food. Gary sits like, ah, come sit with me, Sydney. I can't wait for the ghost to kill us. What's on TV? What is on today? Hey, put the TV on, bro. Are you, are you serious? What the fuck? This delicacy is very popular in Romania. Where Let's mayonnaise this. flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. I never heard of mayonnaise so first, rivers, dude. We are going to prepare the asparagus. Ooh, that sounds good. Season huh, Mike? these with a lot salt. Salt. Yep. Salt is good for the bones. After oh, letting these freaking. simmer in the salt bath, some more we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple chocolate? cocoa beans. That's pretty cool. Okay, how many uh, chocolate? Yes, All right. the cocoa beans. Say, watch what you like to be mm. blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. I was done with you Gotta it. keep that fancy oh flavor. Oh, that was some damn mm. fine food. Try good since you caught the fish ourselves. Yeah, it was really good. We'll make a great team, huh? We stir Anyways, this I need to check on my emails real quick. Irish There's my laptop upstairs. Food. I thought we are taking a break from work. Lie. It's not work. I'm this just waiting on shipment like details shit. for my new DS. I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up here. Anyway, listening to my cooking What a cooking show. You know, I think, uh... This is the brain of the mayonnaise. We we got it injected with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt I think that against is. us. <laughs> it gets very oh, no. angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. Oh. After doing that, Man, we mix all the ingredients see. together in a tray. Uh huh. And place it inside the oven. Mm. That looks bad. You're literally okay. cooking moss. While that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Ah. Gasoline soaked ramen. Do not show your kids this program, ever. Gasoline soaked ramen, you know, I uh, kind of feel like I'm feeling it. If that's a delicacy somewhere, then uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, don't know, I think I might skip that one, you know, the plate can go in there too. Oh, we, we gotta clean that like that. Okay, so throw that in there. Had to get both plates. Where did Mike put his? Is it down on the table? Yep, yeah, okay, I'm seeing that now. I really want to uh, get to that basement, to be honest. Like, I really want to know what's going on. Had to get the plate. Hey, the plates are here, dude. What are we doing with them, though? Stacking them up. All right, here we go. Wash the dishes. Keep my eyes outside. I am not risking anything right now. I don't like what's down in that basement. I really don't like what's down in the basement. Something really strange is going on. Whether it's with the host. If that is really the host. Just something came right. I got a bad feeling. One of these times I'm going to just check back. And there's going to be a face at that window. Or that door is going to be open. Okay, it's very quiet. Hey, Mike, are you, are you done though? Oh, here we go. Michael Carter's coming through. Uh... I think there's someone under my bed right now. You come up. What? What? Oh no, nah, hex nah. Maybe take your shoes off. This. What the freak? What kind of message is that to get? Like post up. I don't like this. Walk slow. I'm on my hands and knees, dude. Nope. If this is a freaking prank, his ankles are broke. I think he's pranking me, dude. I'm bracing for a jump scare. Oh my god. It was fine, wasn't it? That's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? What? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count it. Are you serious, dude? Bro, we're just out here playing like this, though? Oh my gosh. Uh, I decided to hide in the. Oh, Miss Harper. You made a bad decision. You made a bad decision. I mean, it would make sense. Like, you probably wouldn't check down here. Mmm, mmm, no, I don't like this. Ah, oh, I don't like this. Hiding here. Couldn't open the door. Okay, where are we hiding, though? I decided to hide in a nook into this desk. Oh, miss. Dude, I don't like this. Okay, we can. A mic's peak. Shh. Keep it quiet.
Oh. Ah, I got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you'd be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. Better close your eyes and start counting. Okay. No more jump scares, Mike. Enough with that. Okay. Oh, I don't. I, I really don't like this. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. Mississippi. What the heck? What are we doing there? Nine Mississippi. Ten Mississippi. Ready or not? Here I come. Yep, let's get it. Let's get it. I really don't like the fact that we're doing this. I mean, it's fun, yeah, but like, I don't like that at all. I really don't like that door. And Mike knocked on that. Did you hear him do that? If he jump scares me again, oh, I ain't playing. I ain't playing Mikey. We check everything. Not that. She's not down here. I'm gonna check it. What about if we see someone else freaking hiding around here, bro? This is open. He's not there. I'm so old. we're gonna see someone be like, haha, I got you, Mikey. But that ain't Mikey. You know, guys, that's what my worry is right now. Here we go, here we go. Run it up, run it up. Oh, Mikey Moo, where you at? You in here? You freaking idiot. Because I'm gonna get you. And I'm gonna get you. Oh, got you. Hang on, half. I think I heard something upstairs. You are upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No, no kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? I didn't. I swear on my life, I heard something. See, this attic access door in here. Uh, I don't, okay, I don't like this. When I hear people say that, like that phrase, I always take it very serious. It's like the one phrase where it's like, no more. I couldn't reach it without a steep stool. Why would that scare me so much, dude? Okay, we need a stool. This chair, it's got wheels. I don't like how that looks. Uh, checking here. The woods, I did see one on the deck out here. Is this good? Uh, no, we don't want to use that, okay. Oh, dang, right here. My gosh, okay, so we'll place that. All right. You're up, Mike. You gonna check it out? Uh, you're taller than me. Why don't you go? I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. But one of us really should. Why are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. Use that step stool behind you. And All right, guys, we're not getting out of this until we do this, right? We're actually in the dang attic. Do not investigate the attic ever. So I'm scared, dude. Whoa. What the? The cat? Hey, they weren't lying though. Pet, yes, dude. Let's go. Oh, buddy, you've been up here on your own, huh? Okay, well, are you good? We need to get it. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up! What? Dude, where's the light up here? That's weird. Look, someone's been crashing. Oh, oh, man. Okay, kitty, that's it. You come with me. I don't like this. I really don't like this. There's, oh, there's an actual light switch. Oh, shoot. It's the one for this room. There's nothing, but look, they're like drying their clothes. They're doing everything up here. They're keeping it cozy. Okay, let's tell Mike. Is there a cat up here though? Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was the cat. Are we seriously not gonna talk about the fact that there was a sleeping quarters up there? That's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh yeah? Maybe we can give up one of the cat after I come find you again. You wanna play again? Dude, oh, I kinda wanna help the cat. We just leave the cat there? I decided to hide in the tool shed in the back. Oh no, dude, we got... Oh no, I, I got a bad feeling this is just gonna go really wrong. Now we're outside. You might not think to check here. Ghost is clear. But it's the tool shed, right? That's what I'm like. I want to square up with something. I'm scared. Okay. Yep, we're in here. Where are we hiding here, though? Is this does this count as a tool shed? And we're like, look. I don't know if this is good. I don't know. There's no interactable buttons. Oh shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We're playing it like this. Okay. How did he know? Do I have a GoPro attached to my head? Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh no, oh no. I'm kind. Of, why am I kind of worried someone's gonna jump out? I don't like this all of a sudden, guys. <gasps> Yeah, checking the fence. Everything else looks good. We're clear. Oh god, I'm I'm really nervous now. Okay, no, I don't come along. Maybe it's best you don't. He's got to see me. He's got to see me here. I'm so obvious and shot. Is he gonna be stupid? Huh, Mr. Mikey boy? He knows I'm here. He's got me. Lie off. Lie off. He can't see me. He still sees me. <laughs> there you are. Dang up. Took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. I close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me, we'll go to bed. Okay. All right. I'm just keeping this cool though. I want to watch him walk back. In. I'm worried someone might jump him though. I think we're at a point where we know that something is wrong here. Like, oh, it's gonna go bad, guys. We're, we're not gonna find Mike. Okay, let's start counting. One Mississippi. Count through the whole lot. Or speed run it. Ready or not, I'm coming. Let's get it, let's get it. Alright. Alright. 
I don't know if we're gonna find Mikey this time. I am worried, guys. You wanna play his weird games? Hey, Mikey! Ready or not? Here I come! I mean, yeah, I'm gonna do sweep the downstairs first, always. Hi. That must be- that's the fireplace, right? What was that? Oh! Is that down here? What the freak? Yo, was that this? Huh? I heard someone knock. Was that the front door? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was weird. Can I check? Can I pull this up before I open it, though? Yeah. Huh? Yo! What knocked? That definitely was a knock, right? That came from inside the house. Uh... Oh, boy. I'm kind of... Why am I kind of worried about this? I don't know what to expect. I couldn't re I got a feeling he's gonna... Wait, put it down. Put it down, dude. You don't want to climb it, though? Would he hide up here? Would he hide up here? It's a new spot, right? I don't like this. The cat's waiting, bro. There's someone up here, bro. You want to tell me? You want to tell me? I feel like he'd hide back here. This is what he would do. There's no one up here. Even the creep's not here. The cat is, though. I pet the dang cat. Let's go. Right, where is he? Like, where haven't we checked? We checked in here. There's only a few more rooms left, right? Did he jump out of the freaking balcony, though? Nah, he didn't. He didn't. Okay, it would have been a sick play, though. You know, like, I see him. He jumps down for us breaking a leg, but... What? What is he? Oh, he's just fixing this stuff up, dude! What's going on? What happened? Oh, hey there! What the hell are you here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with every time I fix something. Never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? I didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? I just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before, that must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? I'm not Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Warbridge, son. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing a faucet? I was just doing some work. You can't handle that. It's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Odd. So, what, with a hammer, though? Yeah, Mike, that's, that's it. it. We tail him out. We tail him out. I don't trust it. It could well be harmless. It's just, it's hard to know with this one. It's, it's a tough call, right? I guess it really was. Okay. There's that part of the day done, or the night, whatever it is. We were going to sleep, though, right? That was the plan. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over and announce. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drive all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Okay, and this is just day one whilst we're out here, though. This is late, though. This is way later than I'm even in bed, though. I'd be long asleep by now. Huh? I don't want to get up. What? Hold up. I am a bit- why are we in the room with the bed, though? Like, that's also got the attic here. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Better not be weird, though. That's just Mike, right? Yeah. Ha, huh, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Okay. Don't want the light on for this or anything like that. What's going on? The storm is starting to get pretty bad. You can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. But she'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Oh, no. Uh, okay. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought I'd get to it was gonna go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. But he does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He should just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the dang house. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. I've also been a difficult. Yeah, me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. Okay, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? No! I don't like this, bro. I'm gonna body Mike if he tries anything. Harp, you know? I've missed this. That's just talking. It's been too long. You know? You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You back away, Mike. I don't, I'm not a fan of this at all. You act like you don't remember our first trip to Oregon. I remember it being a pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink and things happened. They sure did. I might be making... Maybe they can happen... No! Skip this, dude! Mike, I don't know what to say. He's checking his phone. Hold SOS, please! 
I guess we've been as torture about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Bro, check your phone, check your phone. Guys! The store. I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury. 70? And my stinking tire just blew out. He's gone. Hold on, hold on. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near I've already Killington. Got light now. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, no, I hate to Nora. ask, okay. but can you two come get me? Yes, gladly. Okay, so where was it again? Guys, Kent Pond. Kent Pond, okay. What a time in her. I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney. You just stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our butts off. Now, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just sell in and I'll help Nora. That's nice. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. I'm gonna say, please be careful. Oh man, I really don't like this now. This is actually creepy. And this dude is actually a creep! We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest. No! I don't wanna talk about this later, dude. I don't want. Oh, come on right now. This actually sucks, though. That is. The storm is really coming down. I do wanna see the storm a little bit. Let's take a little peek outside. Is he actually. He's leaving the house, dude. Take... Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Yeah, I think I'll crash. You sure it's safe to drive? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock on the doors. Okay. Before I go, how about a hug? And just in case you're asleep when I get back. Kinda need one right now. Nah, not now, Mike. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. You drive safe. Yeah, we ain't doing that whole hugging business, bro. Oh, it was cold. Look at that coming down. I, I just wanna see, though, right? Kind of cozy on the porch though. Still, I don't know what's gonna happen right now, Tenor. I got a bad feeling she's gonna. Uh, I don't know, guys. Try and say something like, "Oh, you know, Mike, put maybe more hinders on the plan." She's gonna text us, try and call us quickly. Why am I going down? What am I doing, guys? Don't freak out. Did that just groan? There's someone asleep in. What the freak? No! No! No, 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 we sleep outside, man. We're going, we're going in the tool shed. Please? Oh my gosh, ain't no way. Oh, this is, oh, this is not good. This is bad. It's screaming bad. So many problems. And I don't think Mike is the only one, though. This is, this is so jacked up. This is so jacked up. I know that guy is sleeping down there. I told myself things would get better if I just got some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more uh, by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. Oh my god, I'm so worried, dude. This is not that long later. She was 70 miles away. There's no way Mike is even there right now. Oh, flick around. Huh? Wake up, wake up, wake up. This is so bad. All right, cool your jets, what the freak? I don't like this. Hang on, I got it. I know this sounds crazy. I have to do a snore check on the guy downstairs. Nah, dude. It's the guy. The realization that someone's outside late enough. Hold up. If we don't hear snoring when we go down here, then we know it's not him. But it's him. We got a problem. Hold up, hold up. It's still snoring. There is someone still in there. Hello? Look, friend. I know what an idea of banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they had running behind. I wouldn't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on the porch, you're not coming in and- Oh, I almost feel like this guy's gonna save us or something, dude. I feel like we should let him in. You can sit on the porch while you wait, that's the best situation. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here, you get me? I, I, I have no other choice, guys. Are you kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here. It make you go hiking in a snowstorm. Should have known you'd be as big as a bitch here as you were back at the peace trunk. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? Figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. See yourself. What's he about to do? If I click that, does it open the freaking door? Where's the phone? Where is the phone? I don't even know what the phone is, dude. I say I'd say all this talk. I don't know. I have my I have my own phone, but I guess I can't dial 911 on it. But let me tell you something. You get what's coming for you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. No one else. You're a bitch. You bitch. Huh? 
if I don't curse, guys, I'm not good. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. And there's also someone dang snoring in your basement. Like, I would I would be, uh, my plan would be I'm sleeping in the attic, so I'm going up there, right? Even after that, we're not scared, we're not faced. We are, uh, pretty strong. Is that the basement? Was that a gun? Wait, what was that? Yo, 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 yo. We gotta get up. Do you want to see my whip? Mm -hmm. My plan is this. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think I hear him moving outside the house. Could you please come look, since you live so close? Is he coming or not? Oh my god, I hate all of this. Yo, look, someone threw doo-doo at the window. It's a snowball, man, come on. Didn't hear anything. Yo, I don't know what- how do I dial the cops? Where's the phone? Where's the phone, bro? Is it down here? I don't know anything! I actually have no idea, guys. It's so dark, I can't see. Flashlight, where's the flashlight at? He said there was one in here, right? I feel like I need it right now. Here we go. I have to use. Light this joint up. Light this place up. Who's there? Who's there? Okay, it's the guy. It's the guy. Let him in. Open the door. Yeah, yeah, we need him in, okay? What the heck's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Explain the situation. Okay. It's so hard to know who to trust in this one. Yeah, yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Why? Wait, why wouldn't I? Why? Why not, huh? Why not, huh? Wait, why is he walking to me? Oh, by the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Uh, I went to pick up another friend. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Don't like how he had to ask that one. That's kind of weird, bro. Mind clarifying why you wanted to know that? Right? Stay away from him just in case. I am nervous right now. Do I, I, again, it's who do I trust? Do I trust anyone? Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? One minute, okay, one with his hands up. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. I mean, yeah, that's facts though. I mean, so far, you're kind of chill, sir, so I mind having you here. Come. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. No! 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 He's got a dang hammer in his hand! Oh, you got Jude! Ankles broke! Get out of the. We got it if you don't leave the house, dude. Oh my god, please, please, please. I didn't- What? What do you mean? Bro. Where's he gone? Where's he, he's just gone. He just stopped. Bro, just get- Oh, okay. Where do I go? Rick was in the house. I don't know what to do. What am I doing? Doing this? Do. But what am I doing? Should I take this? Should I place it? I don't know. This feels safe, right? This is, is this good? I can see down there, look at that. Holy crap, that's kind of creepy though. Look up here, the cat's there. Always do this, it's not the cat's fault. Yo, what am I doing? What, do, do I, you wanna hide back here though? How can he jump? Jump, dude. Bro, what am I doing? I don't know how to escape this. I'll let him catch me, I guess. I don't know. Oh, everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? You're not Rick, are you? It's my friends, and they're almost here. Is that so? Thanks for coming by, though. Uh, can you... You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's really okay. Who are you? What did you just say? Confront. This is my house. I will leave when I want to! Get the hell out of here before I call the cops! I don't think so! If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us! Dude, the freak's here! Where's- what's he- Oh my god! I'm out! Woohoo! Wait, I'm dead! Yo! Fuck! Oh! Oh my god! Wait! I gotta hide somewhere, don't I? Hold up. Am I relying on someone in the basement right now? Hi right, guys, we're doing it again. Here's the plan. Basement is good. Keep quiet now. I, f I don't know why I feel like this door down here might save my back. Me. Me. You can hear him creeping though. Control the breath, lady. That might give me away. What do I want to do?
God! Hang on! Go! Oh, get the freak out! Dude, this is working! Oh my gosh! We gotta go up! When? Wait, wait, wait! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Take this, take this! Bro, it's bad, it's all bad, it's all bad. Go! Oh my god, I thought maybe that was it though! Wait. You good, sir? Oh. <laughs> I actually don't know where to go here, guys. I'm gonna run up. Wait, yes, I do. Hold on, hold on. This one here. Go this way. Oh, yes. Jump! 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 Bro! Why was it? Hey. Oh, my God. I'm looking at you before we do it. <laughs> I got curious what was in there, bro. Okay, so the plan, we're gonna run to that same closet we went to before, but then be quiet. Okay, so go in here. Hold on, hold on. He's up here though. He's literally up here. This is his hideout. And there's his den cat. That was the hint all along. I don't know. Should I go all the way back here like this? Bro, I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I can't text them. Oh my gosh. Am I supposed to break out the window? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Open the door, Can screaming? What's he doing though? He's going. He's leaving. Oh, he left again. He left again. You alright? No, no, no. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, Rick. Real Rick, not fake one. What do I do? Bro, he was literally staring at me from above. I don't want to get through. Like, what's the next step? I don't know. Hold up, let me let me just hide. Let's see, are you alright? I'm just don't talk to the Okay, so that's good. So should I just not wait? We're almost there from Nora. Uh, let me see. This group chat has not changed. I'm with Mike. Let me just see his chat. Even though Mike is the creepiest dude ever. It's nothing's changed. I don't know what to do. I'm I'm literally scared to move, but. I feel like I got to, right? I feel like nothing's changing. I can't get out here. And the cat, I mean, you're still cute though. No, no blame on you, you're adorable. Do I get down? Wait, wait, wait. It feels different. Can I leave? Oh my God, please tell me I can breathe a sigh of relief. I'm so over this. Oh my God, I'm so over this. Is that the police kicking down the door? Please! Please, man! Please and police at the same time. Oh, come on right now. Yes, dude! Oh, I'm so happy to see you! That's Nora! Oh, give me a hug, Nora. Get the freak out of the way, am I? You already creeped me out enough. Oh, so it worked out, and I guess the cops turned up after. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived, and of course the man was nowhere to be seen. On the drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't used, and planned on robbing us during last I think that probably aligns up pretty damn well. The cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's action aside from just robbing us. Yeah, I think so. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting up. Wait, what? Hold up, are you serious? But in the end, he gave us a full refund. That's at least something, I suppose. Dang, what a traumatic little adventure. Ain't have a holiday in here again, guys. Survived through the fifth episode. There's the cops. Scout as much as they can. We made it! We made it out successfully. We survived the horrors of that experience. Wow, I like that one a lot. It had that sort of cozy vibe, but... I can't explain it, it just, it neatly kind of pieced together so, so superbly. Kudos, again, Rail, another smashed episode, man. Absolutely killed it. 
And uh, yeah, nothing but positive things. Just a good vibe throughout the whole thing. Really felt a part of this adventure. And especially the ending, it was much more drawn out. So it really felt like you know you had to hide successfully many, many times in order to succeed. And fortunately, we did. Kind of feels bad for Nora though. Like she did all of that just to like finally get here. And it's like, there's no holiday, dude. Like we're going back home. We ain't ever doing a winter cabin break again. I think they are cursed for the rest of our existence. Maybe that's for the best though, right? Maybe that is for the best. So I'm just waiting. I want to hold up, guys. Thank you for making Fears to Fathom. Can't wait for the next one. Please tell me there is more. It feels like a series that it just never needs to end. Like, I would be happy to play this thing forever. They're just all so sick. And I guess back at the menu... There we go, Woodbury Getaway completed, survived. So the main thing I learned from this episode is that just men are creepy as heck around women though. I did feel from the start there was a little something weird about Mike, you know, his uh, his intentions maybe to our character. And I guess it kind of showed in what I would deem as a very negative way towards the end. Like this pressure like that is just disgusting to see happen. I hate it when people have to experience things like that. If I was Sydney, I would, uh, you know, slowly move away from Mike being our friend though. Cause I would not trust that dude ever again all the same. And yeah, that about sums it up though look just a great experience with this one guys i enjoyed the vibe throughout and the story was just fantastic and the setting it just it feels right for this season like this is the episode that months from now oh you're gonna play it feel like warmed up you know tucked in your blanket with a hot drink you know maybe don't drink it you might spill it from a jump scare but the vibe fits the season it's just also a lot of fun so hey guys let me know what you thought anyway this was woodbury getaway the whole game and i really hope you did enjoy and if you do want to play this for yourself of course the game is linked down below but if you guys did enjoy this video why not drop me that like rain and hey if you're new around here want to subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thanks so much for watching this video guys of course, I hope you did enjoy. You know, I've always wanted to do a winter break in a nice cabin in a snowy storm, but uh, <laughs> I'm good now. Thank you.